This is a morning, slightly lightly raining vlog. As you can see, I am I'm uh, equipped for it, and um, it is. I'm in. I'm currently in Strathfield, or to be more specific, en Enfield, which is like that little suburb close to Strathfield. I don't really. I'm not really clear on the boundaries of Strathfield and Enfield. Suffice it to say, I'm in Sydney, Australia, in the inner west, currently walking through the streets, through the suburban streets. It's interesting observing different housing patterns in Sydney, like this is a very classic sort of area, like with these orange these orange tiled roofs. Like, I'll see if I can get one in the shot. Like up there. That's a classic look, and you know, kind of like, not you know, solid height, but uh, mainly just long, mainly just like a, almost a square, but just like it's a rectangle because it's just a bit more wide than long. But then there's other parts. Like yesterday, I was walking through Glebe and there's a, quite a distinctive housing style there because I think they're all older houses. I think they're all closer to colonial era. And so there's a lot of terrace, a lot of terrace housing in areas like Glebe, Paddington, those kind of spots. I guess like maybe a bit, a bit of Redfern and Surrey Hills as well. Um, but then there's, yeah, see this is a more modern house because of the, the colour, like grey, shades of grey seem to be really in for new houses that get built and like some of them are good but a lot of them are just really ugly I think, personally um, and you know of course you're going to knock down some old stuff that isn't structurally sound or whatever but it seems like a lot of old houses get knocked down that would be kind of that would be that are fine but it's just that it's just like they want new housing which is kind of silly I feel because it's sort of like you know there I don't know like in in London the reason it looks I mean the reason it's really vibey to walk around parts of the city is because there's just like really interesting old architecture I wonder if Melbourne has more old buildings because I think that even, I think Melbourne the new buildings are I find them more interesting. It's hard to obviously I'm biased because I'm in Sydney city a lot and I've only been to Melbourne city a handful of times so it's probably romanticized in my head. There's definitely some old oldish buildings. I don't know how old Town Hall is, but around like Town Hall in that part of the city there's a lot of brutalist architecture which is pretty cool in Sydney. Which, again, like a lot of people would give the criticism I just gave of saying it's ugly. But I think it's cool. And it's kind of it's kind of cool that Sydney's sort of known for that a bit. I don't remember where brutalism came from. I feel like it was definitely Europe. I think it was post-war kind of, like, um, you know, utilisation of... Well, you know, just like the unrefined concrete and stuff, like, uh, is like a non-bourgeois, um, material. It's not ornate and elaborate, it's just kind of like, it's kind of so straight up. The beauty of concrete. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm into it conceptually and aesthetically. Which is sort of my two criteria. <laughs> 